Thank you, General Brooks, sir. Welcome to the NGB second semi-annual virtual diversity update hosted by the JDAC. I'm delighted you have taken the time to use this valuable tool as a means to connecting with our senior leaders and the NGB staff regarding diversity initiatives in the National Guard. As the Chief Diversity and Special Emphasis Programs, NGB is, is my primary mission to ensure you have all the tools required to build your diversity programs and to assist you with program support that is necessary to advise, educate, and train senior leaders and National Guard members as we attempt to integrate diversity into our National Guard. In May, we had a very successful diversity conference where senior leaders and diversity program managers participated in general sessions with dynamic motivational speakers and workshops designed to continue to push that diversity flywheel. Emphasis was placed on leadership challenge programs, diversity and inclusion, recruiting incent incentives, special emphasis programs, and a guide for joint state diversity councils. Speaking of Joint State Diversity Councils, we are pleased to report there are currently 45 state diversity councils that achieved green or operational status. And we are well on our way to achieving 54 by the end of fiscal year 12. General McKinley credits the Adjutant General's commitment and engagement to diversity as a leadership strategy in the National Guard and especially credits the notable efforts of all of our EO, EEO, our SINGs, HRAs, diversity practitioners, and leaders in the field to double the number of state diversity councils in fiscal year 12 compared to last year. I am honored to announce during this virtual update, we will host a roundtable discussion with senior leaders where we will provide updates on diversity and inclusion within the National Guard and provide information on the Military Leadership Diversity Commission, the MLDC. Our distinguished guests for our roundtable discussions are General Craig McKinley, the Chief of the National Guard Bureau, General Les Lyles, former Air Force Vice Chief of Staff, Commander of the Air Force Material Command, and the Chair of the MLDC, Lieutenant General Harry Wyatt, Director of Air National Guard, Lieutenant General William Ingram, Director Army National Guard, Mr. Lou Cabrera, Comptroller, Director Administration and Management, B.G. James Gorham, Director, Joint Staff, North Carolina, JFHQ, and Vice Chair of the JDAC. Chief Master Sergeant Denise Jelinski Hall, Senior Enlisted Leader for the National Guard. Colonel Andrew Berry will facilitate this discussion. Please also note there is an email address scrolling across the screen from time to time. Please use this address to email questions, suggestions, and concerns regarding anything you hear during this update. Now let's welcome Colonel Andre Barrett. 